Hey guys, what is going on? So Cal Steve here, and I am in the Miami airport right now. I just want to talk to you guys about the changes to Yield Max. I want to do this video like a week earlier, but I didn't get a chance. I'm in Miami right now. I probably said that uh, for some family stuff, but I want to talk to you guys about the changes to Yield Max and who to really thank. So, firstly, here's the thing, guys. A lot of you guys have been thanking Jay for these changes and Yield Max, and do I think that's appropriate? 100%, absolutely. That being said. I don't think they're the only people to thank, and so I don't think we should forget the other people that really made this possible. So guys, remember, Jay and, you know, really the board and Yield Max, they're kind of like the final agents of change. Without them, of course, this wouldn't have happened, but remember, they didn't just offer this to us, right? Other people made this happen. Were they the final decision makers? Absolutely. Should we thank them? Absolutely. But they're not the initiators or the catalysts of this change. And I think we need to recognize that and recognize who really made this happen. Once again, Jay didn't just come out of the blue and say, hey guys, by the way, we're going to start to stagger the schedule. We're going to give WIMAS a wide mag, a weekly pay uh, distribution. They didn't do that. Other people made this happen. They just made the final decisions, which we're thankful for, but let's thank the people that we really, really should thank. So who is this first group? And I'm gonna thank three groups of people. The first group are really the retail investors. So they're the people that wanted this change. And here's the thing, it's not like simple to just keep on asking, demanding these changes. Why? Because there's a lot of hate from people. I call these people the budget shamers. Right? So when everyone was asking, or, or a lot of people were asking for weekly pay, what happened? A lot of haters came out of the work and say, what's wrong with you people? Monthly's not good enough for you? What's wrong with you? You really want more than monthly? What, your bills? You know, Do you pay your bills more than once monthly? What's wrong with you guys? You can't budget for a month. A month is not good enough for you. You want more than that? You want weekly? So there's a lot of hate. And I think that wasn't founded. I mean, the whole bill thing, that's ridiculous, okay? Because not all of your bills come in in one day they're spread out throughout the month. So would it hypothetically be better for people to be paid more often? Absolutely, absolutely. So what, your bills come in once a month when you have multiple bills and they're all spread out throughout the month? Absolutely, so for people living off these funds, uh, more pay periods, the better. And I think a lot of guys are catching on to the idea that mathematically, the more often you get paid, the more you can compound. So it makes a mathematical difference. It's a true difference to get paid more often. Now, that being said, it's a little annoying to me personally because I didn't need this change. I was happy with the once a month payments from Yield Max. In fact, it kind of messes up the schedule that I had set up. So it's kind of annoying, but it's better for the mass. That's the point. It's not necessarily like better for me in the moment, but it's better for the mass. So I think it's absolutely a good change. So for all of you people out there that kept on pushing for weekly because you knew it was better for you, even though there was those budget shamers around, there's all these people around hating on you for wanting that, props to you. Okay? This is how change happens because you knew it was the right thing. You knew it was more convenient for more people. Uh, you knew about the mathematics of compounding, how that works when you reinvest more often. It's better for you. You just make more money. That's just the way it is. That's just math. So once again, thank you for you retail investors out there who kept on pushing for this even though you got a lot of hate. So that's the first group that I think absolutely should be thanked. The people that didn't give up. Um, and if you think it's really you know, hypocritical for people to once again budget shame these people because why is monthly good enough for you? Why do you budget shame or stop it monthly? Because there's people paying quarterly before. Why is that not good enough? I could budget shame you guys who like the monthly and just say, you know what? Quarterly is not good enough for you. You can't budget. Or annually. What's wrong with you? Annual is not good enough. You can't budget. You're going to make these companies pay you more often because you can't budget. See, you can keep on going as far as you want with it. Uh, I just say give the people what they want. They want weekly, give them weekly. Give the people what they want. So the second group to thank is actually Round Hill. What did they do? They proved you can do weekly and they proved you can do it with less management fee. That's what they proved because if Round Hill did not exist, I could clearly see Yield Max just saying, it's not possible guys, sorry, can't do it. It's not possible. Or like you, Jay has already said, he could just say, you know what, the management fee would be too high. It wouldn't be worth it for you guys. So what did Roundhill prove, right? It proved you can do weekly, you can do weekly payouts. It proved you can do it for less management fee than yield max. And it proved interest, interest. So if you look at the assets under management for QDTE, I mean, it's, it's gonna reach a billion. It's good. I mean, it's really, really good. And someone at Yield Max looked that up. 
finally. Okay? Remember guys, this is a business. Jay isn't like your buddy. He seems like a really cool guy, but he's not like your childhood friend or your family. You, you know, this is a business. They make decisions based on the financials and profit or loss. And what did Roundhill prove? That the weekly is profitable, that people are interested. That's what it proved, that it's profitable, it can make money. So without Roundhill proving the weekly to be a winner, we wouldn't have gotten this change. Once again, Jay would have just said the management fee would have been too high for you guys, it was just not possible. And Roundhill absolutely smashed uh, those two objections. And the last group to thank, as I mentioned right at the very beginning, is Jay. He listened to someone in his group, I'm not sure if it's him or not, but someone in his group actually looked up XDTE, QDTE, and they looked up, you know what, the assets under management? People are really interested in this. It's not just lip service. They're just not saying it, but people are actually investing a ton of money into these things. And yes, there is buzz too. We can't forget that buzz aspect, right? So yeah, it was getting really popular online. The idea of it, people really buzzing around the idea of a weekly. People liked it a lot. Let's get the mathematics were behind it. It was possible with the lower management fee. Round helped prove that. And now Jay and some other people, whoever it was in YieldMax, I thank you. I don't know who it was. Whoever you are in YieldMax that actually looked up the assets under management of Roundhill for these weekly pairs and saw, you know what, this is pretty good, and actually looked up maybe the SEC filings for Roundhill that they're going to put out weekly pairs based on single stock tickers. Whoever looked that up, thank you. Thank you. Okay? I know how things work. If you guys would make more of a profit going to weekly or staggering your schedule, you wouldn't have done it. So thank you for that. And of course, Jay and others who've made the final decisions to change the schedule, to stagger the schedules, and once again, make YMAX and YMAX weekly pairs. I need to completely figure out things now. Uh, I need to change up my schedules uh, and really my system. Uh, I'm gonna look into some different pairs for different weeks now. Things are a little bit more complicated for me, but that's okay because I think things are so much better for everybody, for the majority. You know, that's the thing for the majority. The majority of people wanted this, they're gonna get it good. So once again, thank you for that. Jay making the final decision. And yeah, actually seeing, you know, the truth. What's the truth? Round Hill's doing it. A lot of people are interested. There's a lot of money to be made in this. The weekly payers, a lot of money to be made in this. Don't give up, right? And you guys have clearly put a target on Round Hill's back. I love it. I love the idea of competition. It always benefits us retail investors and consumers. Competition is always a great thing. So once again, uh, thank you for that, Jay. So, guys, hopefully this kind of uh, clarified the groups of people, the three groups of people who I think should be thanked for these final changes. So these are really good changes, and I'm looking forward to kind of adjusting my schedule and seeing how that's going to work out in the future. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.